Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadowfrax here once again with your weekly forecast for what's gurgling its way down the rusty pipe towards us all. And although not a lot of new stuff's been added to the staging branch over the last couple of weeks due to Helk swanning off on holiday, how dare he, the rest of the team have been beavering away and those of you with their fingers on the spigot will know that there were a few intriguing commits just recently that hint at some fairly juicy new content. Most surprising, and one which appeared almost straight after I'd published last week's update vid, was news that animations for skydiving had been made, including freefall, opening a parachute, and landing. And I know the first thing that was on everyone's minds when they saw this. Yes, Wii Sports Resort. No, but seriously, this was something that was preempted and then seemingly quashed straight afterwards by Gary. So, what's it all about? Well, we can but speculate. Only Helk can answer that question for us, and as I say, he's away. But I will, of course, keep you up to date as and when I know. Another very interesting commit from the last week was this one, a bandit town. And sadly, there are no visuals or further details on any of this yet either. From what I can tell, though, it seems like it could be some kind of new NPC monument set in a swamp biome by the sound of things. Uh, and that's about all we can say about it right now. Will it be like the scientist compound but involve a new NPC type? What will their role be? Where will it be based? Again, only speculation at the moment and again, I will keep you up to date when I find out. Something we don't have to speculate about quite so much though is what's happening down at the water's edge. For example, another commit just yesterday mentioned a makeshift canoe and oar and this is what we appear to have so far. Indeed, it doesn't get much more makeshift than this, and there's a high likelihood of wet trousers when using it, I'd say, but it appears to be a two-man jobby, and presumably faster if you're both paddling in sync. The roadmap does mention rafts and boats with different engines, and this seems to be the next new one, but the advantage it'll offer over the boats you can find right now isn't that clear. All I can think of at the moment is that it's probably craftable, and depending on your oar wielding skills, potentially a lot less noisy. All will become clear soon, no doubt, but I can't of hope we get to use that ore as a melee weapon at some point at least. Now if you've watched my CONCEPT LIMBO series, you'll remember seeing this beauty a couple of times at least. Indeed, it's a vintage one, being nearly four years old at this point, and in my opinion would offer a lot more depth to Rust depending on how it was tackled. Well, there has been a spawnable fishing rod world model in game for a while now, but lo and behold, just recently it appears to have been stealthily inserted into the weapon's spawn menu. It's very rough around the edges right now, non-functional, you can only walk around and point it at things, and there's a lot of work to be done obviously, but it definitely looks like castaways will be casting off at some point soon. Fishing is one of those hobbies that takes time, requires you to stand still, and is best done when you haven't got people aiming bolt actions at you, so I can imagine it really only being something you do from a boat out to sea somewhere. That of course is now a viable option, so it'll be interesting to see what we'll be able to catch. Perhaps more than fish. Who knows? In other news, now there's more to do underwater, an idea for swimming animations was floated a few days ago, and although this is just a concept at the moment, it does look the part. Monument puzzles seem to be getting added to the power plant and sewer branch so far this week, according to the commits, on a separate branch of course, so we can't see them yet, in case uh, you wondered what was happening with all of that. And over on Happis, work continues on placing the new scientist compound there, and of course, offshore islands, which as I mentioned previously will be a mix of mini monuments and new places for players to build on. I still don't have any visuals on these sadly, in fact I don't have visuals on a lot of the new stuff being worked on, but I hope that will all change soon. There were some more fixes to hair to stop our mullets from poking out through hats under certain circumstances, a fix to the upgrade menu highlight not working sometimes, and an absolute ton of graphics related tweaks in the commits, which quite possibly has something to do with upgrading Unity to the latest version, something which should have at the beginning of next month and may bring some much needed performance enhancements with it. Hopefully. With that in mind, Facepunch have announced that there will be a forced blueprint wipe to go along with the forced map wipe on June the 7th when the next update to main happens, so brace yourselves for that. And lastly, skins. Where are they? We didn't have any new ones last week, and it doesn't look like any are going to pop up this week either. 
I'm hazarding a guess, and this is only a guess, that we won't see any new ones until Helk gets back from his holiday, as he's the one who usually approves them, and to be honest, I don't reckon he trusts anyone else to be sensible with the task. So maybe next Thursday we'll see a bumper crop of them, or at least a normal crop. Stay tuned though, and I will let you know. Please spank the like and subscribe buttons for me, leave a comment if you're able to type, and join me over on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group too. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.